Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Awesome Gem here, and today I'll teach you how to make a mod in Forge 1.7.10. So, so you obviously know that what mod you want to make and what you're gonna do with it, and you probably have played a few little mods and have an understanding how it works. So I don't think I have to. Uh, I don't think I have to explain you that. So. We'll just begin on how you do it. So first, uh, there will be some links on the description below, and you need to install those things. So, if you don't have JDK Seven, you can go to this website. The link will be in the description below, and you can hit Accept License Agreement and choose and install the one you have the version. If you have 64-bit, you install that. If you have 32-bit install that and if you have any other operating system find it and install that all right once you have done installing that please continue all right so after you install that you might need to make sure that your build path is good to make sure that um, you just you know wherever your computer thing is just right click and go to properties and click advanced system settings and go to environment variables and inside there should be a thing called path find where it says path click edit and make sure um, wait. yeah make sure java home is added here and make sure it redirects you to the thingy to your folder where your Java is in my case is that program files Java and whatever the JDK version is where wherever you install that JDK it will be there and to create that you just if it's not there you can just click new and type in here Java home and paste the path of the location for the JDK folder and that should be good and once you've done that I believe you need to uh, I'm sorry uh, let's see do you need to do anything in here I know you did not I think that should be good yep that should be good and make sure uh, yeah so that's it for the JDK part okay the now uh, since uh, the forge uses Gradle you also need Gradle to get Gradle you go to the link gradle.org it should be in the description below and download the latest version and once you have done downloading it you can you should extract it and try to find the file it's, I have to make sure how it works first so you download this it will take you time to download it and you basically wait 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 oh, some wolf character there alright so once it's done downloading click it open it and yeah it will show you this uh, for me I've put my Gradle let's see where I put it on uh, do not quite know where I put the Gradle let me just go look it up uh, Gradle hmm interesting alright a way to find out for me is to you can ignore this part if you want I'm just gonna look at where I put the gradle in. Hmm. gradle home yeah. so yeah after you uh, download the gradle extract it and go inside the folder and copy the path and if you don't have this system variable click new and type in gradle home and paste in that path for that 
And once you're done that, you're good to go. So, now you got Gradle and JDK. You can move on to the forge now. So, you obviously knew in order to make forge mod, you need forge, so... Duh. So, we'll get that now. So, go to the 1.7.10 downloads, we'll get the latest one and click the source. If you want to support the developers, click this link. Since I already did that, I'm just going to click this link and get the source. Save it. Alright, once you have that, we'll, you can close that. Go to the computer, downloads, and go to... Where is it? This? And... No. That's for 1.8, sorry. And then extract it. And get the forge. And this is your forge. Basically, everything is there. You don't need any other thing. So what you want to do is go ahead, right click it, copy it, and go to your command prompt. And do cd slash d uh, so backslash. And then you go ahead and paste it here. And press enter. So you should be on that folder right now. And what you gotta do is type in Gradle W setup decomp workspace and then select idea. And yeah, basically once you do this it'll create a development workspace for you to make uh, projects on AK mods <clears throat> so it takes like about eight minutes for me to do this since I have a not a good computer or I'm using laptop excuse me and so it takes time so whilst it's doing that you can go ahead and get an IDE for coding basically an ID is some something that the developer used to code in the modder and I prefer idea and a lot of people use Eclipse and I'm just gonna tell you guys switch to idea it's way better trust me so once you're here click download and just download the community version doesn't matter click save and install that it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward if you wanna know how to mod you gotta know how to install programs so yep there is that and yeah so on the next tutorial I'll show you how to do like all the other good stuff like setting up the properties and the information of the mod and how to like put it on your um, IDE like your IntelliJ and we'll create like a basic mod and see if it loads well that didn't take time to load interesting yeah, so basically, uh, what you gotta do now is just open it and just watch the next tutorial after that. I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.